everybody, this is Adoc, and I'm coming back at, we have, with another video here. And this is a video that is going to depart a little bit from what I normally do, which is cigars and tobacco and that stuff. But it came in through a question on YouTube from a guy who watches me here in my office, and he saw something over my shoulder here. And it is, excuse me while I get this. What it is, it's a, a little box, display box, for some of my knives and um, I am a collector of knives and these are the ones that I usually don't pocket uh, because they're just you know they're special knives and they're they're more collectors items probably so these are, are just a few of the knives that I have but anyway I thought what I would do is I give you the rundown on these four first of all there's one up here and this one is by Spyderco and it's it's a police issue knife it's a it's a large one these knives you see a lot of them and they're really meant for when you flip these things open man they they uh, can cut you through seat belts and whatever else you need to cut through this one here is uh, made by the uh, for David Yellowhorse for the Buck Company this one here is a 150th anniversary from the Boker Company which is a German uh, company and then this one here is a custom one-off made by Bob Jones well let's take a look at these uh, a little more closely shall we well, first of all let's start off with this custom one-of-a-kind knife from Bob Jones unfortunately Bob who lived and did his work in Albuquerque New Mexico passed away a couple years ago he was a pioneer in the custom knife making business his knives are collectible and somewhat hard to find this particular knife I'm, I feel real fortunate to uh, have purchased because each knife for Bob was a one-off. No two were exactly alike, and he would hand stamp the number of the knife on one side of the blade, and on the other side of the blade he would stamp his own initials, BJ. Then let's take a look at this David Yellow Horse Model 532. This custom lockback knife was made by David Yellow Horse for the Buck Company. It features a 3-inch mirror polished 420HC stainless steel blade. The knife is 4 and a quarter inches long when it's closed and 7 and a quarter inches long when it's fully open. The handles are made of genuine inlays of turquoise and black jet with a nickel silver cutout of a Navajo village. Then we come back to the Spyderco Flying Eagle Police Model Folding Knife. I think I purchased this knife in early 2000, and the casting on the scales were made by Gary Blanchard for Spyderco. You can see Blanchard's autograph down at the bottom. It's a police model called Eagle in Flight, which had a total of four parts, or two sterling silver leaves, a sterling silver flying eagle with mountains in the background, and a decorative ellipse made from jeweler's bronze, which held the eagle. And the last knife is a Boker Tree Brand Smooth Red Bone Pen Knife. This is a common knife. It's one of the many knives, though, that was made to commemorate the 125th anniversary of the Boker Company. I said 150 in my intro, but it's the 125th. Boker, also known as Tree Brand, is located in Solingen, Germany, and they have become synonymous with quality workmanship. So the knife has a struck medallion with the number 125 and the Boker name. The blade also has a tree brand classic with the trademark tree of the Boker brand. This one may not be quite as special as the other ones, and yet uh, it was an anniversary knife. I've had it for quite a long time, so I thought I'd throw it in there as well. So there you have it for what it's worth. And for those of you that were interested, that was a small portion of my knife collection. Just um, some of the more collectible ones. Uh, I, I, my dad was a butcher and he had a knife for every occasion and as I grew up I always had a, a knife in my pocket just like every other kid at the time and over the years I've just enjoyed collecting knives and tend to pocket one wherever I happen to be uh, unless I'm you know heading for for the airport <laughs> uh, but anyway that's a different story uh, until next time this is a doc I'll catch you later